Greetings, this is Mike Bartell with Free International coming to you from just off the world famous uh, Las Vegas Strip. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to our 30 days leading up to January 11th, which is National Human Trafficking Awareness Day. Human Trafficking Awareness Day was created for all of us to better understand what's going on uh, currently in the world as it pertains to modern day slavery. And uh, with the intent of seeing uh, a great army of abolitionists rise up to end this great evil in our lifetime. Uh, everywhere I go, everywhere I travel, there's so many people, once they know what's going on as it pertains to this exploitation, uh, want to roll up their sleeves and do something about it. And that's what Free International is about. We're trying to move all of us uh, from education of an issue into engagement of it in an appropriate way so that none will perish. And at Free International, we're excited to be able to talk to you a little bit over the next 30 days leading up to January 11th about what's been going on in the world of human trafficking, modern day slavery, as well as make some connections to historical slavery and uh, how we can uh, learn from the great things that happened uh, 100, 200 years ago in the fight against human uh, trafficking and slavery and adapt it to today so that we might be able to reach out to those who are being exploited right in our own communities, whether that's uh, commercially for sex, whether that's uh, in landscaping businesses or, or uh, nail salons, um, whatever it might be, uh, we want to be able to roll up our sleeves alongside you, engage us all in this fight against human slavery, so that that might end in our lifetime. Big cause, big task, yeah, of course, uh, but we know we serve a big God, and as each of us uh, find our role and our part in this fight against modern day slavery, we can all roll up our sleeves together, make a huge impact. Today I just want to give you a little bit of a background on Free International, what we are doing, and how you might join and roll up your sleeves alongside us uh, so that we might be able to see many rescued uh, for the glory of God. Free International started just a few years ago. My wife and I uh, started Free International having come back to work with another organization overseas in Southern Asia. Uh, we were excited to come back to the United States knowing that the United States itself was um, ripe with uh, this issue, with what's going on with trafficking, with exploitation. Uh, right now in the United States, uh, the belief is there's at least 100,000, upwards of 300,000 U.S. children a year who are being commercially exploited for sex. That's not acceptable. It's not acceptable to me, and I'm sure it's not acceptable to you. We want to make an impact in being able to reach out to those as, alongside of those who are being trafficked in by the thousands from other countries from all over the world. Uh, so we started Free International. Free stands for Find, Rescue, Embrace, and Empower. First thing we need to be able to do is find those who are being exploited. Uh, as a minister, the scripture tells me that the enemy is like a roaring lion seeking whom he can destroy. We see that happening with this issue. We see by the tens of thousands missing children who become exploited and trafficked in unspeakable ways. We see people from other countries looking to America uh, and the dreams they have for themselves only to land here, find themselves being exploited um, in unspeakable ways. And uh, we need to be able to reach out to them. Slavery right now is the second largest criminal enterprise in the world economically, only behind drugs, and is growing at a faster rate because unlike drugs, uh, human beings, those who are being exploited are reusable. Drugs you take once, it's done. you got to start the process over again. With a young girl, with a young boy, with family, you can exploit them every day, multiple times, over and over and over again until they're no longer valuable and you discard them alongside the road. Uh, Free International exists to be able to find those who are being exploited. The enemy might be there coming like a roaring lion, seeking whom he can devour, but the Son of Man came to seek and save the lost. And the more we're aware of what's going on and how to engage this issue, the, the better prepared we can be to be able to do something about it. Free started by educating churches and faith communities and, and uh, police officers and firemen and first responders and students in universities. We've trained a few thousand people in what we call our Seek and Save workshops. And we've seen great fruit out of that. We've seen great things happen. In fact, uh, just last month, we, uh, we, alongside of a detective friend of ours, Chris Bogman, uh, did training in Central California with law enforcement in that area, chiefs of police, uh, sheriffs, district attorneys, FBI, um, uh, Homeland Security, uh, spent a day training. And uh, just within a couple weeks after that training, 
they had run into and began to prosecute and rescue um, their first victim of human trafficking. We're in the process of working with them now to get services to the girl and the children of those who were rescued out of this situation. Uh, the officer who was prosecuting this case said, man, I've been working in this for 12 years. And uh, without this training, I wouldn't have even known what I was looking at. And uh, that's the type of thing we need to see happen. Again, the more we know what's going on, the better equipped and prepared we can be. And not only rescuing those who need help, but uh, getting those who are doing this great evil and putting them behind bars for a long time. Not only that, but we've been doing our own outreaches. We, we are very collaborative by our nature. We've been working with churches from around the country and the Metro Northeast and New York and New Jersey and Massachusetts, all the way down to Florida and Texas and Las Vegas now where we're here in California. Uh, Free International has been working with, with uh, the faith community to engage this in their own communities. That's the key part. Uh, human trafficking isn't just in Las Vegas. It isn't just in New York City. Uh, it's in the rural areas, in the suburban areas of our country. It's at the truck stops along the highways. It's in the nail salons in our suburbs, in our malls or across the country. We need to be able to engage this issue in a way that brings help to those who are being exploited, that we might be able to find them and do something with them so that their lives might be uh, repaired. Uh, not only do we need to find those who are being exploited, we need to see them rescued. Now, when we talk about rescue at Free International, we're not talking about uh, vigilante justice that busts into strip clubs and rip girls out of the strip clubs, throws them in the back of the minivan, and takes off down the road. That's not what we do. Uh, we collaborate with law enforcement, uh, both federal and uh, state and local. Uh, we collaborate with social service agencies uh, throughout the community. No one organization, no matter what they tell you, is going to be able to um, take care of all the diverse and complex needs uh, that happen uh, through the process of a person being trafficked. Free International uh, wants to be competent and train a competency in knowing how to address uh, these issues from the point of contact all the way through the restoration of those who are being exploited. But we do that in a collaborative setting. We've been so proud and honored to collaborate with some incredible national organizations, Class Kids, which is a national persons, uh, missing persons organization, Florida Coalition Against Human Trafficking, Salvation Army, uh, Frederick Douglass Foundation. Uh, many of those groups you're even going to hear over the next 30 days as we uh, begin to expose uh, you, our network of people, to the great organizations that are out there doing, um, doing some significant work in the field of explo uh, human exploitation, human trafficking. And uh, we want you to be exposed to our network of people. We also want to add you to our network of people so that uh, we all might roll our sleeves up together and uh, make a significant impact. This year we're blessed to be able to uh, get into Indianapolis area working with the Attorney General's office, also into the school districts um, of Indianapolis area, uh, offering uh, school assemblies and training of teachers and the parents in those schools uh, to be able to recognize this, especially as the Super Bowls come into town. Uh, Super Bowl is one of the more trafficked events in the world and uh, over the last few years Free International has been there uh, again with our collaborative network to be able to reach out to those who are being exploited that we might find them. Uh, missing children who are trafficked into the area that they might be located and brought back into their families. Uh, Free International has been active on the ground for a year, three years now in the United States, uh, four years now in the United States uh, being effective again with our collaborative network so that those might be res uh, found, but also rescued. We know that once somebody is found, uh, they need to be away from their exploiter. But more than that, unless we have something for them on the back end to see their life repaired, we haven't done anything for them, nothing. And so rescue for Free International is holistic. Uh, scripture tells us that not only did God bring us out of the miry clay, but he set our feet on a rock to stay. Free International has been working with shelters across the country uh, working with them as they want to transition into shelters that take in uh, trafficked women. Uh, we, we've seen um, and built partnerships in many states, five different states with shelters who aren't designated shelters for human trafficking but want to work more exclusively in that area. Uh, Free International itself has uh, recently uh, through a generous uh, donation of property been given uh, a place in the Midwest, uh, over 13,000 square feet on uh, three and a half acres of land that we are currently transitioning into a shelter for trafficked minors. Of the 100,000 to 300,000 U.S. kids a year who are being trafficked, 
Uh, there are less than 100 beds in this country set aside uh, for those who've been exploited in that way, either through prostitution, pornography, commercially exploited for sex. And we want to be able to change that and add more beds to that, be able to take those who are being rescued at these direct outreaches we're doing from around the country in, in a collaborative way with churches and other social service agencies, be able to take those girls and put them in the safe place where they might be able to see their lives repaired emotionally, physically, uh, uh, develop an education and a career path, maybe further education, and spiritually see all their lives transformed in a way that brings glory to God. We want to find those who are being exploited. We've been working at that for, for years now, developed a great reputation nationally, great network of organizations we partner with. We want to see them rescued holistically, developing a network of shelters to be able to help those who are being exploited and have been rescued. Uh, uh, with a key piece of our own uh, shelter, Oasis Project. Oasis is a refuge for exploited children. You can help us with that as well. Uh, you can contact us and ask how you can get involved. We're currently in the process of raising uh, our last half million dollars to get the doors open on the facilities. Uh, you can help with that. We need to find those who are being exploited, see them rescued in every area of their life. We want to see them uh, embraced. Uh, up until this point, they've been embraced in unspeakable ways, out of lust, out of greed, uh, never really seen uh, what a loving embrace really is. Free International is about that. Again, looking to Scripture, the Bible tells us, uh, me as a minister, um, that the reason I follow him is because he first loved us selflessly. No matter what my response was to him, he continued to love and lay his down, life down for me. Um, that's where we see our role with Free International and engaging in these girls' lives. No matter what the decisions are they make, um, we are with them. We want to be behind them. We want to help them make right decisions, but we are behind them in love and providing for them. Uh, We've had churches from around the country donate uh, gift cards so that we might help the girls who have been rescued. Many times when we've worked with people who've been rescued out of labor or sex trafficking, they come with nothing, nothing but the clothes on their back. And uh, churches uh, from around the country have helped us be able to provide for those immediate needs of those who, who need help, who need clothes, who need a few nights safe places before we get them into a shelter. Uh, plane tickets that we might be able to take a chaperone of ours and transport them across the country back to their families. All these things uh, are in great need and, and we've seen people from around the country help us in those ways so that we might be able to help those we're, we're reaching out to. Uh, we've, we've had churches give, uh, give uh, many outfits. In fact, we had some ladies in, in New Jersey, great ladies in New Jersey, throw, um, uh, throw a fashion uh, show. And in the fashion show called Fashion for Freedom, which Free International uh, is, is seeing happen around the country, now they threw a fashion show and then donated the clothes and the materials and outfits and, and gift cards and prepaid cell phones and all the things that needed uh, to be given uh, to Free International so that those could go to uh, our girls and those we partner with uh, and the girls they have so that there might be something there, a loving embrace so that they know we are with them, we love them, we care for them, we want to see a better future for them. We want to find those who are being exploited, see them rescued in every area of their life and embraced uh, with selfless love through, through those who work with us. And ultimately, we want to see them empowered for the glory of God. Every, every area of their life has been destroyed, and yet each of these persons uh, are creatures who were created in the very image of God with, with a unique and distinct set of gifts and skills and talents that we want to see nurtured and developed and grow. Uh, that we might see these people who have been exploited not just become survivors, but that they might thrive uh, in their lives, thrive in, uh, emotionally, uh, in their career, and spiritually. That's what Free International is about. And Free International has been working, like I said, with churches and individuals from around the country. We have so many diverse people who've rolled up their sleeves and, and decided to work with us. You're going to hear some of those over the next month, some of our our, uh, we have a Give It Your program here where college graduates have been joining us here in Las Vegas to learn how to do this. How do we engage this issue of human trafficking? We have, we have great people here in Las Vegas and they're going to be uh, providing you with uh, some research and some stories and some book reviews and some, some movie reviews on what's going on that you might read that and know uh, how to jump in and get involved and become more educated as far as what's going on with human trafficking. One of our very board members, John Battaglia, has just recently been voted Abolitionist of the Year uh, in Central Missouri. 
Uh, he has worked uh, both local and national and international in issues of human trafficking. We're so very proud to have him on our team. And uh, he's a pastor in central Missouri. Somebody just like you and me who said, you know, I'm not going to let this happen in my backyard on my watch. And not only he, but his, his uh, church, C2 Church in Columbia, Missouri, have done incredible things as they've rolled up their sleeves and joined with Free International and joined with the Central uh, Missouri Human Trafficking uh, Coalition. And uh, uh, from, from those who work with this issue from around the world to do what they can to see that none perish. We have people in Wisconsin, uh, uh, emergency room doctor and his family who've, who've taken up the cause of Free International and are working in Wisconsin with those who've been exploited and on the task forces there. We have people in Central California we've worked with, uh, uh, Jim Pyatt, who spent uh, a couple days on a bike doing the Furnace Creek 508, rode 508 miles on a bike nonstop, raising funds for our shelter for, uh, oasis uh, in the Midwest and, and uh, working with uh, his local organization that started out of his church called Without Permission. Without Permission and Free International has already collaborated uh, on behalf of those who are being exploited in the area have been rescued. We've worked out of Texas with great churches like the Oaks, doing outreach uh, at events like the Super Bowl and continue to partner with churches like that. We want to, um, over the next 30 days, expose you to some of the best works that are out there going on, including what we're doing with Free International. We want to expose you to the history of this issue and how it affects us even today. And in the end, we want to partner with you in rolling our sleeves up so that none perish, so that those who are being exploited through modern day slavery might find freedom and hope. Join with us, just normal people ready to take up this cause, help those 12, 13, 14 year old girls, boys, families who are being exploited, find freedom, that they might find freedom so that they might help others find freedom, so that in our lifetime we might see this great evil end. Thank you so much for paying attention to our webinar series here and over the next 30 days we're looking forward to floating stuff your way. Check out freeinternational.org for more information. There are many ways you can connect with us, but you can start by going there. Uh, thank you, God bless, and we're looking forward to rolling up our sleeves with you to see slavery end in our lifetime.